This is launch control coming up on three minutes and 30 seconds and counting. Mark, T-minus, three minutes and 30 seconds and counting. We have completed our communications checks with the Apollo 8 astronauts in the cabin, and the communications are go. Coming up shortly, we'll uh, be in the automatic sequence where we have a completely automatic uh, checkout of the launch vehicle from uh, three minutes and six seconds down. We have firing command. The firing command is in. We are now on the automatic sequence, T minus three minutes and counting. During this period, once we do get the firing command, the various tanks within the three stages of the Saturn V launch vehicle begin to pressurize. pressurize. They all must be under pressure before we're ready to launch. We have a sequence status board here in the control room that will give us readouts on the overall status of the space vehicle as we reach the terminal phases in the countdown. Now, two, two minutes, 32 seconds, and counting. Our status board indicates that all aspects are ready. Instrument unit is ready, spacecraft ready. Final check of the emergency detection system. That ready light also on. First stage preparations are completed. Two minutes, 15 seconds and counting. The tanks continuing to pressurize in the vehicle. Not as many reports coming now as we all stand by on the launch vehicle test conductor's channel. Coming up on the two minute mark on the Apollo 8 mission. Two minutes and counting. T minus two minutes and counting. We are still proceeding. We now have uh, recorded that the uh, first stage uh, liquid oxygen tank has been pressurized and the pressure is still building up. One minute, 45 seconds and counting. We have a vehicle weighing 6.2 million pounds on the pad. Interestingly enough, some 1,200 pounds of that weight is just frost on the side of the vehicle created by the extremely low temperatures of the propellants. Coming up on 90 seconds, mark T minus 90 seconds and counting. The Apollo 8 uh, crew standing by, spacecraft commander Frank Foreman, Jim Lovell, Bill Anders. We now have a report that the liquid hydrogen tank on the third stage is pressurized. One minute, 15 seconds. All third stage uh, propellants pressurized at this time as we come up on the 60 second mark on a flight to the moon. Minus one minute. T minus 60 seconds and counting. T minus 60 That's seconds and counting. The vehicle now is completely right. pressurized. We're coming up on the power transfer short minus 50 seconds and counting. We have the power transfer. We're now on the five batteries within the launch vehicle. 45 seconds. Final reports coming from Frank Borman at this time. Final uh, look at the switch list aboard the spacecraft. 35 seconds and counting. We'll lead up to an ignition sequence start at 8.9 seconds. This will lead up as we build up the thrust to a liftoff. If all goes well, at zero. We just passed the 25 second mark in the count. 20 seconds, all aspects. We are still in at ready? this time. T minus 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. And we have ignition sequence start. The engines are on. 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. We have committed. We have. We have liftoff. Liftoff at 7:51 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We have cleared the top. We are clear. 15 seconds. Roger, flight. We've lost the RCP. They're switching. We're clear. We lost all data. Get out of RCP. They're switching machines. Okay. 20 seconds out. We get a loud and clear from Frank Borman. Right out of you. Looking good. Follow him. Ten miles. Ask to come up like this, Abel. 32 seconds. How you, Booster? It looks good, flight S1C looks good. Booster says the S1C, the first stage, looks good. Mark, mode one, Bravo, Apollo 8. Mode one, Bravo, Apollo 8. Mode one, Bravo, Apollo 8. The crew confirms the, their progress at 50 right seconds on. into the flight. Good and good, flight. GNC, we're good, flight. Booster, go, flight. Okay, Captain, we look good. One minute out, and yeah, Mike really Carlin tells the crew we're looking good. Roger on the cabin. One minute, 15 seconds, and we're a little more than half a mile Flight into Friday, the sky and about uh, nearly four miles downrange. How are you, Booster? Play the flight.
One minute for 40 seconds. All looks great. Flight, how are you? Looks good, flight. Real good. Okay. Stand by for one Charlie. Mark, one Charlie. Mark, Mark, Mark one Charlie. Mile and six tenths into the mission, and uh, Frank Warren has converted, confirmed each event as it's been passed to him by Mike Collins at this point. We're go. Go for staging, Captain. Follow you. Go for staging. Inboard out, Frank. Copy inboard out. Inboard out on time, Frank Warren says. The inboard engines. How you eat, Captain? Two minutes, 25 seconds. GNC, we're good, Flight. That work, you get that CP back in? But checking, Flight, okay. ETO, two minutes, Flight. Yeah. S1C cutoff. Roger. We see uh, an S1C, S2 the first stage Roger, cutoff. S2, S2 has ignited, hey, we can Thrust confirm. Looks good, flight, all engines. Roger. And the thrust looks good. All engines, all sources show the flight second stage is burning perfectly. Two Roger, minutes, 51 out. seconds into the mission. Flight line is ready to go. Roger, no more reports, please. Thank you. And the uh, at three minutes into the flight, the range safety console has been released at the Cape. Three minutes into the flight, we're 50 miles Roger. high. And about 10 miles downrange. Hi, you, Fido. We're go, flight right on. Roger. Giants initiate flight. Roger. Captain. Three minutes, Arm 25 tower, seconds. We have. That's uh, affirmative. He did. We have Copy, verified Fido. that the tower has jettisoned. Uh, the crew yeah, has uh, verified yeah, the tower has jettisoned. Clear, okay. The first stage was very smooth, and this one is smoother. Flight network. Right, says yeah. staging yeah. was smooth, yeah. and he says yeah. the ride yeah. now is even guidance smoother. Station, very flight looks very smooth. Okay, Captain, trajectory and guidance go. Apollo 8, Houston, your trajectory and guidance are go. Over. Thank you, Houston. Apollo 8. S2 looks good, flight. Coming up on four minutes into the flight, and the communication thus far has been excellent. It's been a little sparse, but it's been quite sharp and clear. Seventy miles altitude and about twenty miles or more downrange. Correction, let's make that two hundred miles downrange. Flight director Cliff Charlesworth gets an enthusiastic go from both trajectory and booster at four minutes, 50 seconds into the flight. Apollo 8, Houston, your trajectory and guidance are go, over. Mark, five Thank minutes. You, yeah, you're looking real good, Frank. And uh, the crew's advisor, trajectory and guidance are looking good, and Frank Borman came back with a very uh, chatty, Thank you, Michael. He's talking to Michael Collins, who would be in the center seat today except for an operation several months ago. Five minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. Three hundred miles down range. We're nearly nearing a hundred miles altitude. And everything looks just grand. gives the crew another go on trajectory and guidance, which at this point are the most critical elements. It's six minutes, 10 seconds into the flight. Our downrange distance now, 400 miles. Our velocity in feet per second, nearly 15,000 feet per second. We've achieved nearly 60% of the velocity required to make orbit. 57% uh, right now. 
and our uh, we're 96.5 miles above the earth. Surgeon reports uh, right. he likes Clear everything he sees. Seven minutes into the flight. And we're uh, nearing the uh, second On stage. Nearing the point where we will Roger, drop off the second stage and light the third stage. That event is to come at about eight minutes and 40 odd seconds into the flight. We have now achieved 70% of the velocity required to attain orbit. Our present velocity is 18,600 feet per second. And we are 100 miles above the Earth, 100 even. 625 miles downrange. Coming up on eight minutes, Mark, eight minutes. Apollo 8 Houston, your trajectory and guidance are go. Roger. We're picking up a slight pogo at this point. 20,400 feet per second, 101.7 miles above the Earth. 734 miles downrange. Houston, you have level sense on him, over. Roger, level sense on The Pogo is damping out. You understand Pogo damping out. Apollo 8, Houston, you look good for staging. And the crew is advised they look good on the ground for staging. And Borman says, same here. We got S2 cutoff. We got S4B ignition. The Borman confirmed S4B ignition. The thrust looks good to us at nine minutes into the flight. Uh, Houston, how do you read Apollo 8? Apollo 8, reading you loud and clear. Okay, we got guidance. We now have 89% uh, of the velocity required or 920 miles downrange. And uh, we're nine minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. Flight dynamics officer says our altitude is nominal, which is the typically conservative word for uh, very nearly a perfect uh, mission, as nearly as we can observe at this point. Mark, mode four, Apollo eight. Nine minutes, 50 seconds, mode and we've four, just Roger. gone to what we call mode four. If any trouble should develop now, we would uh, go ahead and burn into orbit with our service propulsion eight, engine. Over. The crew is now being advised we plan to cut off the third stage engine at 11 minutes, 28 seconds. Into the flight, we're now at 10 minutes, 10 seconds. We're at 103.7 nautical miles above the Earth. Our velocity is at an even 24,000 feet per second, which is uh, just very, very close to orbital velocity. That's 95% of it and we're 1,200 miles down range. It would put us out a little bit east of Bermuda. Now reading you loud and clear, go ahead, Apollo. 10 minutes and 50 seconds, and we've heard from Bill Anders for the first time. He simply said, how do you read, Houston? Roger, you're looking good. Mike. And he gets a looking good back from uh, a looking good comment from Mike Collins. How you doing, Looking good. Yeah, it's good. You like it? HB is coming up. 11 minutes, 20 HB seconds. And we're hearing a little something from Jim Lovell reporting a, a reading on one of his many gauges. And we have a sink 
We have Seco, says Frank Morgan. Seco and I would call it 11 minutes 30 seconds. That will be an estimate. 11 minutes 30 seconds. Our launch digital data shows uh, our velocity now 25,577 feet per second. The uh, data now is re reduced, go, and we I'm show an altitude go. of 102.5. And the crew has been given a go for orbit, and they responded enthusiastically that they too, in fact, were go.